hello everyone. We are going to be playing Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. Uh, I have the original on PS2. I, I have. I have played Nocturne before. Uh, I never beat it though, is the thing. I've never beaten it. And I don't know what all got added for the remake. So yeah, this will be my chance to finish Nocturne and see what all they added to the remake. Cause I only know that they added voice acting to this, which I mean, that's all I really need to know because I really like voice acting. <laughs> but yeah, uh, and let me prep this. This is gonna be my first time pulling up the game. I haven't, like I literally just downloaded the game before I started streaming. Like I got gifted this by Barnhouse. So yeah. Oh, did he give me all of the DLC too? Wow. Newly acquired DLC has been automatically installed. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Well, thank you, Barn, again for gifting me Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. It's thanks to him that I'm able to play this today. I saw you got it and was gonna get you Dante, but you already had it. Wow. There's like no new content unless you somehow had the original Japanese copy, which would be strange. <laughs> oh yeah, like, is Raido Kuzunoha uh, in this? Because I know in the Japanese version, it had Raido Kuzunoha, but we got Dante. So is it like combining them or is it just Dante? Anyway, let me close out of Omori here. And let's go to our stream setup. You can play the OG Japanese version or the Raido or the Dante version. Oh, really? Interesting. Also, I gotta change my settings here real fast, guys, because it is full screen for me, and I don't want it to be full screen. Let me see. Window capture. Properties. That's not showing up on that. What about game capture? Properties. There we go. Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. Hit the screen. There we go. Dante got buffed and is no longer worse than Raido. Oh, wow. Nice. I remember, like, being excited for this, but, like, I didn't have the money for it. But yeah, give me a moment. I won't be able to see chat until I change the resolution. But let's watch the opening theme together. Hear, O oh disciples, for I bear witness to the dawn of destruction awaiting the three realms. When the drum of samsara resounds throughout the earth, the palace of the east, encompassed in radiant light, shall slumber in the womb. All who live shall know more. Their red souls of transgression shall mark the rise of demons. Perfect game for Christmas. And lo, those who behold the great mystery shall stand before the lotus and soul speak the in the So it is written, the scripture of Miroku, chapter 4, verse 24. Let's go. Oh, that was his name, Hichiri? I think that was his name. I don't remember that guy's name. <laughs> I erased his presence from his from my mind. Uh, what was her name? Yuko? I think that was her name. Yuko or Yuka? It's been a while since I played this game. Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remaster. Wow! We're gonna be playing two Shin Megami Tensei games here. Alright, press any button. Let me. Oh, new difficulty. Merciful has been added. Oh my goodness. Oh, should I do that? Should I do Merciful? Raido Kuzunoha will be replaced by Dante. Oh my god, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Oh my god, so many stuff. 
BGM pack? Is Devil Survivor in there? I want Devil Survivor music. Well, actually, I really like Nocturne's music. It's one of my favorites. This and uh, Soul Hackers are my favorite uh, SMT musics. Okay, what? Can I config? Yes, thank you. I want to be able to read chat, please. Okay, let's see. Graphics. Oh, display? Yeah, change the game's resolution. Let's do that. There we go, okay, I can read chat now. Let's go. Do not play in baby mode. Wait, which one is baby mode? <laughs> but don't worry, I won't play in baby mode. I'm not a baby. I, I always play Devil Survivor on Apocalypse mode. <laughs> All right, let me adjust my window here. Yeah, this game is really cool. There's some additional baby mode grinding areas. We do not need these, gotcha. You have New Game Original, Maniac, Dante, and Chronicle Rido. So what should we do, I guess is my question. What version do you guys want me to play? Do you want me to play original Maniacs or Chronicle? Dante Obvious? You want me to play Maniacs? Okay. Yeah, let me let me do like a really quick, really quick thing. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna play Dante unless someone pops up and be like, no, I want Raido, or no, I want original. <laughs> original has less content, no skeletons, no wait, what? No skeletons? Aren't skeletons important? I remember the skeletons being very important. You you mean to say original doesn't have it? It's good that there's a localized version of the original, but the original sucked. Ooh. Okay. Well, I guess we will do... We will do... Maniacs, then. Oh, wait, what? No, 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 no. What? Wait, wait, you go back. Why'd you go back to what I... No. I want... I want this setting, please. Save these settings, yes. Save these settings, thank you. Okay, let me just check to make sure. Okay, my window's still fine. Laggy wall. All right. All right, so start the game with the Maniacs pack. What do music options we have? Yeah, I'm curious about that. Kinda wanna hear SMT4 Overworld, not gonna lie. I love the Overworld theme for SMT4, oh my god. Okay, is there like a way I can see? Like, what all music is in this? Cause, okay, that just takes me to the store. Don't need that. Okay, anyway, let's play Maniacs with Dante. Config audio for some, oh, let me see. Let me see, let, sorry guys. I just wanna see what games, like, we have music for. BGM select, oh! Shin Megami Tense, oh, the first game, the second. Oh, we got the fourth game. IBL for Apocalypse. Okay, so it's all of the main games. So I'm gonna stick with the default for now, but I would love to play with uh, SNT for music at some point. No Devil Survivor, unfortunate. But at least we got four. I know that four is like really good. Oh, we got English and Japanese. I know Four's music is just amazing. Fantastic. But yeah, let's start with Maniacs. I don't think Persona 5 had Devil Survivor either. Made me mad. Okay, we're... Okay, so wait. Oh, Merciful is very easy. Hmm. Should I play hard or normal? I'm not sure. Hmm. I do play Apocalypse and Devil Survivor, but I'm not as accustomed to Nocturne's, like, system as I am to Devil Survivors. It makes stuff really expensive. Oh, is it one of those where it's like, oh, sorry, I tapped out. Is it one of those where it's not really like the, like, I guess like battles are hard, but it's like, it just makes stuff really expensive. 
So it's kind of like, what is it? Some games do like EXP stuff to where you just don't get enough EXP and that's like... I remember Persona 5 doing that. Oh, it's harder? It is. I just don't like that they make it expensive. Ugh. I I'm gonna stick with normal for now. Can you like change your difficulty settings? Why not have a convy time? Well, I'm not playing Merciful. I'm not a baby. But I'll play normal for now. And... If I find it too easy, I'll change to hard. I'll take I'll take it easy for now. I just don't know if you can change your settings later or not. I don't think you can. Cause this is a PS2 game. This is a work of fiction. Any name it said you could. Oh, okay. That'd be funny because it totally invalidates everything costing more. <laughs> A world that loses its power will fade into nothing. By the way, can you guys, like, hear the, the game audio and everything? Remember, last name, first name, yes. Should I go with Hito Shuro? Or, I forgot what his other canon name was. I remember I had it on my PS2. It was like, Naoki or something. If such is the fate of this world, then I shall return it to its mother's womb. Yo, let's the world go. must first die for it to be born again. Name the this demi fiend the Ronaldo Horse Soccer. As foretold in the ancient <laughs> prophecy. Ronald Ronaldo Soccer. What? <laughs> for a second, I thought you named him Ronaldo Kuriki, and I was like, why? Why would you do that to Hito Shura? He doesn't deserve to have that boring man's name. <laughs> will fall for its sins and everyone living will vanish but i won't let you meet the same fate his fade is whack pixie cut for his hair he deserves everything he's got what do you mean what do you mean everything's cool <laughs> elia what do you want for christmas oh i don't i don't i really don't know i'm really like Honestly, all I've been really saying, like, I actually told a friend not to give me anything for Christmas. <laughs> all I really want this year is, like, people to come watch my streams or money, honestly. <laughs> That's all I really want. <laughs> like, I got Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. I'm happy. I'm happy with life. We got Dante from the Devil May Cry series in this. Let's go. I want to help you hold on to your life. To do so, I need to know your name. Will you tell me who you are? What was his name? Naoki Kirishima or something? It was Naoki something. Let me look this up. Oh, oh nice. They actually have an indicator for it being family and given. Naoki Kishima, I think. Okay. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Demi Fiend. SMT. I like I like using the canon names. <laughs> for uh, when I play SMT games whenever I can. Okay, so we got two choices actually looks like. We got Naoki Kashima or Shin Monagi. I hate that. Shin Monagi. <laughs> Shin Monagi. Why would you name your character Shin Monagi? Excuse me? No. I like I like I like Naoki more. Let's go with Kashima. Should I do a, should I do Shurahito? <laughs> Ka what, whoops. Oh my god, what? Go over here. Ka Kashi Kashima? Does it... Okay. I gotta go over here. Okay. Naoki. We're going with the canon name, baby. Naoki. wonder what that means. But God, why? Shin Managi as a name. That is so dumb. 
Shin Managi. What? What? What did you do? What did you do, Blinded? What did you do? What did you do? <gasps> Thank you for the fifteen dollars, Blinded. Merry Chrysler. That's a great. That is a great Christmas gift. Thank you, Blinded. P5 came out and my friend was playing it and he said, I'm gonna use the canon name and I just went, bro, they change it every time. <laughs> well, we're going with Kashima Naoki. Or we could have gone with Demi Fiend. We could have gone with Demi Fiend or Hitoshura. But it's kind of dumb. Like, I know, like, Devil Survivor 2 Protag has Hibiki Kuze or Hero something. I'm like, why would you name yourself Hero? God. Anyway, let's start. Oh, oh, we got a name. Okay. A nickname. So that, I'm going with Hitoshura. Wait, should I go with... Here, I'll ask you guys. Hitoshura or Demi Fiend? Because I know Demi Fiend is like the English name for this. I always call him Hitoshura. Because I'm a weeb. <laughs> they probably named themselves Hero because they eat hero sandwiches. <laughs> Demi Fiend sounds terrible. Yeah, that that's why I like calling him Hitoshura. Like a half demon. Yeah. Well, he technically is a half demon. That that's why he's called that. And Hitoshura is that as well. Hito means person and Shura means uh demon. An arch fiend much cooler. Okay, let's go with Hitoshura. Hitoshura. I'm a greater fiend. <laughs> it's sad that there's like no dashes that I oh wait, no. There is. Oh, never mind. Never mind. This changes everything. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Arch Fiend. I'll drink this in the name of Demi Fiend. <laughs> no. In the name of Arch Fiend. Ah, come by. Hey. Okay, let's put the dash here for Hito Shura. Hito. Hito. Shura. At least he's not gonna be called Sussy. God. Sussy. Ugh. Hito Shura. Yeah, we're going with the canon name, baby. Yeah, I remember for Devil Survivor, like, Kazuya didn't have, like, a nickname that I could really use. So I was like, oh, what, what, what do you guys want to be his nickname? Sussy. No. But at least, at least Demi Fiend has a nickname, which is Demi Fiend. <laughs> like, no one calls him Nelki Kashima. They call him Demi Fiend. That's right. As of now... Your will to live shall sustain you. Sussy Baka Boy, the new nickname. <laughs> no! And survive. I will. I'm glad you understand. I'm a devil survivor. The time is near. Everything that is will be rewritten. Yo, where's my boy, English one? Of the next world. Yo, where's my boyfriend, Dante, though? The template for our future rests within my hands. It's gonna be a while before we see Dante. Now, I want you to say my name aloud. Yuka, right? Or Yuka? Something like that. Yeah, Takao Yuko! Wow, I can remember things. Yeah, not changing their names. That's right. Yuko Tako. I wish that they would say their names if you went with the default. Ooh. Mary Chrysler Barrett. <laughs> Naoki. No. I won't shed another tear. Not even at this world's end. Instead, I can invite you to the world that is to come. Now go ahead. Wake up. The time is here. Wake up, Link. Open your eyes. Shin Managi. Open your eyes, Shin Managi. Yo, Yogi Cohen. Yo, Yogi Cohen. Please do not rush onto the train. You bottle guy. 
you want to die? <laughs> yo, Yogi Cohen. Yo, yo, we're in Geek Cohen. You received a me okay, you know, you know, this is like the early 2000s when he's called a flip phone. You're late, Naoki. What's the big idea? You forgot we're miss you we're visiting Mr. Cow today. Just get to your Yogi Park ASAP. Time's a wasting. It's from your classmate. Please enter your classmate's name. Okay, is this the good class? Oh no, th this isn't the good classmate. Why do you have the same last name as Eo Isamu? You don't deserve to be related to Eo. Yeah, Isamu Nita. Don't like Isamu. From what I remember of this game, Isamu wasn't my- Yeah, hate this guy. Yeah, don't like this guy. <laughs> this is an Isamu hate club. My reverse beloved. My most hated. <laughs> Real talk. I prefer more of a private counseling scenario, but Mr. Cow is a lot nicer when you're around. Rename them sussy. <laughs> no! I'm not renaming anyone. I'm going with the canon. Booty Popper. <laughs> oh, right. Be sure to dress to impress. After all, you represent me by way of association. Shut the fuck up, Isamu. Dr. Bustdown. <laughs> How about that slick jacket you bought the other day? The one with the little demon sprites. Name them trans rights. <laughs> What? But then I would hate trans rights. I love trans rights. Remember, you're just the mood maker. Don't get it twisted, okay? Yo, me and my homies, we hate Isamu. I go back home. I don't want to meet up with Isamu. Hey, how's it going? Let me guess, you're here for your Yogi Park? Ever since that incident went down, it's been one looky loo after night. Who says looky loo? No one's here for the train. Name him Betch Boy? <laughs> As you can probably tell, I've had a lot of time on my hands. You've heard the news, right? Name him Transformers 2. <laughs> Name him Surf's Up on DVD. Name him Komida on the Nintendo DS. Looky Lou. Yeah, I heard the news. No, I didn't actually. What was the news? I don't listen to the news. I play video games all day. I mean, look at my drip. You think I look at the news? I just play video games. I play Shin Megami Tensei. I'm a real Shin Megami Tensei gamer. Are you a real Shin Megami Tensei player? Guess I ought to inform you. There was a deadly riot at Yoyogi Park yesterday. Name him Bambi for the PS2. Nagito Komai don't. <laughs> if you want the gory details, go check the giant screen at Shibuya. Long story short, a couple of folks lost their lives in the park. You could hear the sirens wailing all night long. Anyway, sorry to talk your ear off. Probably not something I should be doing on the job. <laughs> yeah, you go looky loo. And I'm Kermit Simba. <laughs> Alright, let me- can I buy anything? I want Jack Frost. I can't read what that says. I can see Atlas, though. That's the most important thing. I don't have enough change! What? This drink isn't listed on the machine? Oh, A mysterious drink. Can I look at it? No. You can't open up the menu yet, I'm guessing. Or- Oh, it's sold out. Hold on. What is the button for the menu? It's still- It's still the- the X button on Switch, right? Wait, what did I do? Oh, okay, that got rid of- Man. I forget, cause I think- Was it Nocturne or was it Digital Devil Saga on the PS2? Where the menu button was actually like the start button or something? Yeah, Jack Frost! Name him Blinded Crook so you won't feel- I would feel bad, because I love Blinded Crooks. Don't want to hate Blinded Crooks. Okay. Let's go up here. Where you leave the area, yes. Oh, by the way, 
I remembered how to do it last time I played this, but I don't actually remember. Uh, you gotta keep the pixie that you get. Like, you just get the pixie in the- in- by playing through the game, right? But, like, you want to keep the pixie. Like, not fuse it at all, correct? Because I think I remember doing that. You can fuse it. But doesn't something happen if you don't fuse the, the pixie? Like, she's like a special character. Due to investigation, the entrance to your yogi park has been closed off. Am I thinking of another... Am I thinking of another... Oh, just keep track of who you make it. Oh, okay. So, it's still... Okay. Should be the demon at the top of your list, Jenny. Gotcha. Okay, so I can fuse her. Due to investigation, the entrances to your yogi park have been closed off. Yeah, listen to this music! It's so good! We appreciate your cooperation. I see. Don't want to go to your yogi park yet. I want to talk to people before they all die. There's a live report going on. Well, I do feel the demonstrator's actions were out of line. The fact that Cyber's communication would destroy the park for their own gain is not only inconceivable, it's unforgivable. The reporter's impassioned speech continues. I love all their soundtracks. Elliot, is this one of your fave series? Yes, I'm a huge Shin Megami Tensei fan. I'm especially like a Devil Survivor fan, but I love all of the games. I love Shin Megami Tensei. I love Persona. I love like Soul Hackers. The Yoyogi Park Riot. Oh, you mean what they're showing on TV? I don't know, it's just, it hardly seems real, like, how could this be happening here? Glad it doesn't involve me. Speaking of music, I've been trying to make music again, Elio. Ooh, you gotta show me your music when you do another track then. Also, like, I, I pretty much, I like most Atlas games that I've played. Like, I really like Trauma Center. I, I've enjoyed Etchy and Odyssey. I like anything that they put out, which is kind of sad because it's mostly just Persona. Uh, this decade. <laughs> but I'm glad that we're getting some more SMT stuff. I'm hoping this means we get more SMT stuff and maybe some stuff not related to SMT in the future. Like, it'd be cool if we got like a Trauma Center revival or Etrian Odyssey or something like, uh, what was that one game that released by Atlas? 21 Centuries or something like that? I never played that game. I really want to play it though. I like this. Examine. The news is showing on the giant video display. Oh? Do I get to see it? A riot broke out yesterday at Yoyogi Park regarding the construction of a communication tower. The demonstration got out of hand and there have been several deaths and injuries reported. Furthermore, Hikawa- oh that's his name. Hikawa. The top executive of Cyber's communication remains missing. Now, for the latest in entertainment, we move over to Ashimoto. The news continues. Huh. Kawa totally isn't someone we're gonna see in the plot, huh? You ever hear a conversation between some high school girls? So, don't tell me, I already know. You think Kawa is super hot, right? Really? Y'all ain't got no taste. Um, you? There's like so many nasty rumors about him. I know, to me, that only adds to it. He's got intrigue, a whole world of lore built around him. Okay, okay. excitable high schooler. I bet you also like Ted Bundy, right? Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, hey, Naoki. Yeah, I wrote a chord progression about last month and played it for my friends. They really enjoyed it, so I'll see about continuing on it. Oh, heck yeah. Let's go! You said you were going to visit Miss Takao today, right? I know she's beautiful, but that doesn't give you license to creep on her, okay? I'm not the Persona 5 protagonist, thank you very much. I don't creep on my teachers, unlike other Atlas protags. I've been chased by this wild dream, hounded, you might say. Oh, we got Nya redemptions. Nya, 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 Nya. Nya-nya-nya, 
I need the Nyala. Me too. Well, there you go. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Nya. In my dream, everywhere you look, everything is round. The world itself. Oh my god, he's a flat earther. Oh, dang, nabbit. I know the world is round, but it got round in a different way. I'm telling you, my dream is a prophecy. Huh, <sighs> and you no one believes me. <laughs> one of my teachers followed me on Twitter and sometimes I forget. Oh god, I would die. I would die if one of my teachers followed me. Yo, Noki, what's up? Did you hear the rumor about your Yogi Park? No, tell me about it. I heard on the night of the riot, a demon spawned somewhere in the park. And that demon was the one behind the killings. Well, it's just a rumor. Shimigami Tensei sure does like starting out with a killer on the loose. Huh. Being here is starting to depress me. That riot's got everybody all shaken up. You look like a decent enough guy. Let's forget all this doom and gloom and have ourselves some fun. No, sorry, I'm gay. What is this? Can I look at this? No. This foreign guy dressed in red passed by not long ago. Of all things, he had a giant sword on his back. A sword! And boy, did he look dangerous. Oh, that's totally not Dante. From hit game Devil May Cry. Now, I know I've seen him somewhere before, but where? Screw flat earthers, we only accept the spiral from Junji Ato. <laughs> Junji Ato. Junji Ito. <laughs> oh, not again. The hospital up ahead has been open for a while. What's going on? Yeah, Dante is in this game. Oh, we can go to Shinjuku Medical Center. And yeah, let's go here. And not Yoyogi Park. No one is here. Well, that sucks. All right, let's get out of here then. I think I, I think I talked to everyone on the world map. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, let's continue. Let's go to Yo Yogi Park. Yo Yogi. Yo Yo, it's Yo Yogi. No one is here. Wait, what? Oh, do I go through the other entrance? Yeah, other entrance. Yep. Yo yo, it's Hichiri, yo! How Great. yo doing? The entire park's closed off. This is why I hate autocorrect. It keeps me from being perfect for best way you Monica. <laughs> you can't even let a guy in to snap a few photos? <sighs> Guess it's not my lucky day. This guy was pretty chill. I mean, he could lose the fedora, but I like I like his jacket. It looks nice. Yeah, lose the fedora, Hijiri, and then we'll talk. What happened here? Well, here's what they said on TV. Hate this guy too. I can only remember one character that I really liked is the girl. <laughs> I mean, really, it's an SMT game. I hate all these bastards. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> you just choose the side of whoever's ideology, like, resounds with you more than the others, or whoever is hot in your eyes. <laughs> Panic erupts as a clash between corporate representatives and a civic organization ends in violent deaths. I like the girl, but I know that she's like a massive B word. Uh, I just think she's hot. <laughs> Pretty disturbing, right? But those who live on the fringe say it was a deeper struggle between two cults. Ooh. Your cell phone started to ring. Uh, I think that's your phone going off. Hey, are you there? Oh, thank you for drawing Jason, by the way. I need to draw more Bat-Fam stuff so I can turn Elio into a fan. I like, I like Spider-Man. 
This Batman Wayne family adventures on webtoons, by the way. Oh, I know that Archie comics is on there, and I tried reading the Archie comics. Finally, I got a hold of you. What's taking you so long? Oh, I love you. I'm, I'm getting a bouquet for our date, baby. Please enter your classmate's name. What was her name? Chitose or something? Chiaki. Chiaki! How could I forget Chiaki? Chiaki Tachibana. I could see if it was our other friend, but you're never late. You wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Yeah, let's not call him by name. He's the other friend, because we don't like him. Where are you now? Yoyogi Park? Have you seen the new Spider-Man movie, by the way, Elio? Not yet. Uh, we're planning, uh, me and Yume are planning to go, uh, in January to see the movie. So no spoilers, please. <laughs> well, since you decided not to show, we had to leave without you. We're almost there now. So, yeah, would you mind coming straight to the hospital? You do know which hospital it is, right? Shinjuku Medical Center. I'm not a dumbass like Isamu Chiaki. Just go east from Shinjuku Station and keep going. You can't miss it. Hmm, I guess this works out. I was planning to ask our teacher for career advice, so I'll just go ahead of you. Yo, I like her voice and that, that end to that sound. I'll just go ahead of you. Like, what? I'll be there ASAP. Thanks. Keep in mind, I don't plan on staying too long. Okay, see you later. Chiaki hung up. Yo, is she a gamer girl? You're on your way to Shinjuku Medical Center? Hmm. That's also where I'm headed, oddly enough. Go figure. I'm not walking with you. Go alone. I want to be alone. Leave me alone. Why don't you hang on to this? It's a copy of our upcoming issue. Yeah, Hijiri. Ayakasi. I'm assuming you don't know what went down here. Then... You probably don't know what kind of place that hospital is, either. Oh, I know. The name's Hijiri. Author of the Ring of Gaia and the Scripture of Moroku. Might want to give that a read. Oh, the Scripture of Moroku. Yeah, he's like a- he's like an occult reporter, right? I think that's what he does. Yeah, you obtained an issue of Ayakashi Monthly. Normally, Can I read it? You wouldn't associate a hospital with the occult. Yeah, he's an occult reporter, right? He's either a reporter or a writer. I don't remember what. That hospital is anything but normal. Or so they say. There's a lot of misinformation floating around these days. If it turns out I'm wrong, just laugh it off, okay? Yeah, I remember I played this like 10 years ago or something like that. It's been a long time since I played this game. Anyway. I better be going. Oh yeah, in the event we run into each other again, let me know how you like my article. It was shit, hey Jerry, just like your fedora. You look like a skin fish with that jacket. But I do think it looks pretty cool, honestly. <laughs> I do like the jacket, but it does look like a flesh fish scales. I cannot read. <laughs> Mihi Toshura, me demon, no read. There's a note on the door. Well, I can't read it. The entrance to the annex is closed. Please use the entrance to the main building. Okay, fine. We're, we're selective readers. <laughs> we only read what we want to read. Yo, it's baby girl, Chiaki. Her jerk. <laughs> Her jeans, her jerk, her juice, her job. <laughs> Look at her. Beautiful. A full jean fit. Well, hey. About time. I'm surprised she doesn't have a gelt. A jean belt. Um, is it just me? Or is something seriously off here? Hmm... No there one's here. Anyone in sight? No nurses? No patients? Yeah, there's no way this is set in 2021. This would be full of people. Look, even the reception desk is empty. Don't you think there's something weird about this place? I sure do. Yeah, Devil Survivor is definitely 2021. This is like 
2006. <laughs> anyway, you know who is looking for a teacher right now. Yeah, you know who. Yeah, let's not say his name. And big surprise, he's still gone. He'd better not be off goofing around. Just saying, with all this occult and cultist stuff happening, I'm surprised most people aren't trying to get into convents or Catholic schools just to avoid the cult wars. I'm saying this is a person who hates both. Oh, wow. This has to be 2020. It's super empty. <laughs> well, something's going to happen that might be 2020-esque. Oh, what's with that magazine? Oh, do you want to read it? Knowing your taste, it probably wouldn't interest me. Wow, thanks for burning me, Chiaki. Augie dying on my heart. Murder me, why don't ya? Ayakashi Monthly. Never heard of it before. What? It's an occult magazine? Why would you bring something like that here? Why um, not? Well, maybe it could help me kill some time. I like the ring. I don't remember her having a ring. It's a good thing it's not on her fourth finger. Anyway, can you go find that bonehead? <laughs> bonehead? If he can't find our teacher, then I don't want to be here another minute. He should be on the second floor, where the patients' rooms are. I'll be waiting down here. Oh, and leave the mag with me. Yeah, no problem, don't Chiaki leave me Queen. Hanging too long, okay? My my chaos queen. I don't know. I don't know what route I'm gonna do for my first playthrough. Cause like ideally, I would want to do the true demon ending, but I do know that the true demon ending is incredibly hard. Swear to God, if you do Chiaki route, <laughs> I do want to do true demon route. That is what I want to do. But like in this house, we do true demon ending. Yes. Yeah. T D E. We doing the TDE. But from what I remember, True Demon Root is really hard. So I don't know if that's what I want to do, but it is what I want to do. The door will not open. It's harder, yeah. Isn't True Demon ending like the hardest of the endings? Hey, you saw me. Where you at, you bonehead? Look at your stupid little hat. Someone is in the other hallway. We get stabbed by a patient. It's only bad if you're playing on hard mode. The final boss is a real jackass. I remember there was one boss that really. Fu oh, Jack Frost coffee. Yes, give me, give me some Jack Frost coffee. Nice and nice and icy. Some iced coffee. Mysterious drink. Oh, beverage buff. Let's go. I am a beverage buff. If it's Jack Frost coffee. Hey, Isamu. Where you at, Isamu? Jackass. Look at his hat. Oh man, you scared the crap out of me. Why'd you go sneak <gasps> Look like at that? his shoes. Okay, I do like his clothing, other than the hat and the shoes. I like the shirt, I like the pants, I like the belt, but the shoes and the hat and that little necklace thing he's got on. Those gotta go. Also, I hate his personality. That's another thing. Jeez, you come here late, you cause trouble. You know what? Forget it. Not worth it. Yeah, you're not worth it. Onion-headed motherfucker. He looks like a mushroom. He really does. He looks like an old, moldy mushroom that you gotta throw into the trash. I'm sure you've already noticed, but this place has been cleaned out. You think everyone, uh, died off? Wow, Isamu. I called our teacher to make sure this was it. She clearly told me. Shinjuku Medical Center. Something's up. I could have at least put up a notice or something so visitors aren't clueless. It's ambient time. Let's see how bad this hits me in my weekend state. Oh boy. Stay safe, Sundorf. 
Maybe someone unleashed a deadly virus in here. Oh my god! <gasps> it really <laughs> Shut up! Shut the fuck up! God! Shut up! Shimigami Tensei Nocturne! Devil Survivor already did this shit. Yeah, they unleashed COVID. I've already checked out everywhere she might be. I'm running out of places to look. I asked some of my friends what they wanted for Christmas and three of them asked for a drawing. Ooh, yeah. If you like did a drawing, all, all your drawings are great. That would make a great, <laughs> a great gift. <laughs> Think we should just call it? I survived to the end of the stream, but I can promise nothing more. No worries. Well, we'll have like a kind of a short nocturne stream. But we will right. continue this. I'm gonna head back down and check out how our other lady's doing. I bet she's all pissed because I've been gone so long. <sighs> it ain't easy pleasing a princess. No, she's pissed because she knows she's gonna have to see you in a few minutes. Anyway. I really hope this isn't the shitstorm it's shaping up to be. Stop reminding us of COVID version 2. Yo, Alice no shit. This, Devil Survivor, and Trauma Center. Isamu left the room. Agreed, Elio. Blinded has the best gifts. <laughs> Gotta go, traveling early tomorrow. Catch you later. Oh, thank you for dropping by, Gensuli. I hope you have a good night and have a very Merry Christmas. Also, apparently my family is coming over at 12 tomorrow. So I might have to stop my 7 a.m. stream a bit short. Okay, where the fuck did Isamu go? I guess he went to go see Chiaki. I'm assuming. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I like how, like, his shirt has the little demons from uh, Shin Megami Tensei 1. And I think 4 also has it as an indicator for, like, Miyadi. But it's like the demons would have, like, little status effects that you could read. I'm not even a good artist. What the fuck do you mean, Blinded? You're fantastic, Blinded. Oh, you're back. So... You know that special report at the beginning of the magazine? Well, it says some things that are more than a little unsettling. COVID, right? According to this, there's a group of demon worshippers who call themselves the Ring of Gaia. Oh, that too. That too. And they're right here in Japan. Apparently, they believe in this book of prophecy called the Scripture of Miroku. In that book, it says that chaos will engulf the world. It will. And these people are trying to cause that somehow. Whether their idea of chaos means terrorism or something else entirely, the reporter couldn't figure that out. But get this. Just, just chaos in general. Just be an absolute shithead. The best that you can. Uh, no luck finding her. I even checked the men's room. Why? Why did you do that, Isamu? Yeah, Yuka will definitely be in the men's room. Uh, didn't need to know that. <laughs> We're in the middle of a conversation here, so save those details for later. Now, listen to this part. A hospital on the east side of Shinjuku is closely linked to the organization's sinister plan. Let me guess. That ends with... Find out more in our next issue. <laughs> nah, we're, we're in that hospital, bros. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me if that article had some truth to it. I've heard some real spooky shit about this place. God, I hate that I like Isamu's voice, but like, I don't feel like it's really fitting for Isamu. Like, 
When I imagined Isamu having a voice, I thought that he would have kind of like a whiny voice, like, I don't know, like, <laughs> I hate saying this because I love him, but like, a voice like Atsuro's was kind of the idea that I had that would be like Isamu's voice. Like how they run deadly experiments on patients, or how a psychic started shrieking and bolted out of here. And of course, there's a rumor that a cult's behind it all. Yeah, he sounds like a Chad, but he is nowhere near being a Chad. You're serious? Yeah, he needs a bottom voice. Yeah, he's a bottom. He's gonna be under my boot. I'm gonna I kill him. Any of that? Maybe we really shouldn't have come here. I almost feel stupid for buying into some bizarre tabloid. No, it's completely fine, Chiaki Queen. Believe in whatever you want to believe. But it does get one thing right. How creepy this hospital is. Please kill him. Do I get to kill him in true demon ending? Because I want to. Mm -hmm. I don't we know, maybe. Her, don't we? Yeah, I think... I mean, it's a Shin Megami Tensei game. Of course you're gonna kill all your friends. That, that's the whole point of Shin Megami Tensei. All my friends are dead. <laughs> so we're gonna kill him, we're gonna kill Chiaki, we're gonna kill Yiji, we're gonna, we're gonna kill everyone. And be... Lucifer's little meow meow. <laughs> okay. We search this place top to bottom one last time. If nothing pops up, we assume nothing's wrong, and we split. By the way, looks like you can reach the annex from the second floor. I'll go take a look up there. Whereas you have the honor of searching the basement. Oh, and uh, you'll need this. I, I tend to really love Lucifer's designs in uh, Shin Megami Tensei, but Lucifer's design in this is especially one of my favorite designs because uh, Lucifer has two forms in this disregarding his demon form of course and i i like it because there's like an attendant that is with him and he has two forms one where he's a child and his attendant is like an old lady and then another where he's an old man in a wheelchair and he's being uh carried off by like a, a younger lady we obtained an id card you're the one who found the card why don't you search the basement? Could it be you're too scared? The series is just Danganronpa x Persona x every occult myth and legend. Well, Shin Megami Tensei created Persona, for one thing. I'd say it's kind of like an occult uh, Pokemon. <laughs> That's how I tend to explain it. Come on, this is me we're talking about. The only reason he's going is because I'm sure there's nothing down there. Yeah, Shin Megami Tensei is a great series. Look, all you need to do is confirm that our teacher isn't in the basement. Got it? After all, saving the day is my job. I remember I saw a comic a while ago of like a... <laughs> Uh, Raido Kuzunoha encountering the Pokemon and having to put them in his tubes. And then Ash encountering a Shin Mikami Tensei demon, like, like, Legion or something. It was so funny. Should things take a turn for the worse, just run like hell, okay? Yeah, that's what you do best, Isamu. That's all you do, Isamu, is run from your problems. You're a little chicken little. Anyway, let's focus on finding our teacher. No matter what, we have to make sure she's safe. Yes, Queen, I agree with anything that you say. Until I don't agree with anything that you say and I kill you for the true demon ending. But for now, I will embrace my simping for you, Queen. I wonder if we'll find our teacher. Huh. Who knows? Okay. So I forget where exactly teacher is. This place is pretty big. For a hospital that you only visit for a few minutes, right? Right? Let's 
let's see. Oh, you go. Wait, what is that? Room A202. Alright, let's go. Forget where the hell Yuko is actually supposed to be. Yeah, this is very liminal spaces looking Shimigami Tensei Nocturne. I really like the whole vibe of Nocturne. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I think, is she on the roof? I think she's on the roof. And if not her, then Pixie is there. Oh, no, no one is there. Not even Pixie. Wow. Okay. Second floor. Wait, weren't we already on the second floor? So is she on the basement? Is she in the basement? Yeah, this is where we came in from. Basement, yeah. So you go to the basement and then to the roof. Because, yeah, I remember going to the roof is where she's at, but I guess we gotta look for her first and not find her. Yeah, look at this. Oh, someone dropped all of these things. What is that? This is a hospital? This does not look like a hospital. Oh! Insert your ID card. Is this where we get to meet him? Or will that- I think- I don't think that happens until the thing happens. But I remember a cutscene happened here that I really liked. Oh boy! Just another regular hospital! Nothing to see here! Oh, what is that? One of them dropped some tomato juice when they were feeding him, huh? Alright. Let's see, what's in here? Oh, you can hear an eerie sound from the room. We enter, of course. Alright, let's see. Oh, hey, it's a save point! Who is it? Who dares disrupt this still? Ooh, I like his voice. Okay, his voice is fitting. Look at him tapping his fingers. Only a lost lamb. A well-known poet once said, April is the cruelest month. Have you any inclination as to why? He saw the anime, like, what was that one anime called? Your lying April? Yeah, he saw your lying April and he cried. Because it is then one awakens from a long sleep and faces the barren world. Our history as a species is similarly barren, comprised of empty trivialities. <laughs> What's with the weird Dracula hairstyle? Yo, he call a wishes. He call a wishes he was Dracula. I do like his fit, though. I do like the... the suit. I do think the diamond, like, pattern is a bit excessive looking, but... The worthless overgrowth of a civilization blind to its sins. Also, hold on. That thing he's wearing on his left hand, is that a bracelet? Or is that the thing that you would know if you play SMT Nocturne? That does things. Continuous war and bloodshed. In thousands of years of repeating the same mistakes over and over again. Is that what is it called? It's not Magatama, is it? No, it's not Magatama. What was the little warm people in Nocturne? The world Kuzuchi beats or something? Clean. I forgot what they're called. The way to salvation was foretold in the scripture of Miroku. And today, that prophecy shall be fulfilled. Oh, it's a Magatama. Oh, okay. And yeah, he does have the worm. Okay, so that is a Magatama. The old world will sink 
like a setting sun, and the new world will arise in its place. You gonna give me that worm on a string, now, fella? Oh wait, no. How should I deal with you? It's just rosary beads. Never mind. You got me so excited. I thought you had a worm. From what I recall, you weren't among our followers who survived the purge at the park. Yo, y'all did a purge? Oh, you're her acquaintance. Okay, yeah, that's just rosary. Come to think of it, this was a hospital, wasn't it? And you merely came to visit her. However, even a pebble creates ripples when cast in water. Oh, you watched Butterfly Effect? You do look like a guy that would be like, The Butterfly Effect was a great movie. And while I do feel pity for you, your life ends here. Oh? Uh-oh. Baphomet? Do not be afraid. All the inhabitants of this world will follow before long. Your time has just come a bit sooner. That's all. What do you mean? Uh, oh, I, I don't actually know. Let's, <laughs> will I die if I face him? I think I have to run away. What a pitiful attempt. One should face death honorably. Nah, oh, I ain't dying. You can't kill me! Huh? I'm a bad bitch! What? You can't even let one person go? <gasps> Yo! Her VA! I think that's... Uh, Naomi Kimishima and... What was her name? From Persona 5. Makoto's sister. So... Sai... Sai... Uh, what effect could he possibly have on our plan? However insignificant he is, I am not a man of exceptions. You know this. Fine. If you don't spare him, then consider our partnership over. Yeah, that's now Miki Mishima. I can hear it. I love her. <sighs> Such a troublesome maiden. Well... I'll leave the teaching to the teacher. <laughs> Please leave this room. I would like to enjoy this blissful end in solitude. This dude ain't death, he too ugly. <laughs> you know, he ain't death. He wishes. I'll be waiting on the roof. Okay, now I'll we go to the roof. Of the city from there. Come. See it with your own eyes. Witness that which will change the world. Gosh. Oh. He's supposed to be taking life. He is from Haunting Ground. Oh, I've heard of that game. I never played it though. Okay, was it this way? Ah. Oh, underground facility. That's where they're keeping Igis. So it's gotta be this way then. Yeah, right over here. Oh, is this the scene? It is. Someone is up ahead. What's wrong, my little master? Are you curious about that person over there? What does death look like here? Or is there no death embodiment? I mean, there are demons that represent death, and there is Lucifer. And here he is. That's Lucifer. Oh, is that so? My, my. But right now, we have other matters to attend to. Let's do that afterward. The child and the old woman have disappeared. God, I love Lucifer. 
Lucifer is why I'm a child. I wait, no. <laughs> Lucifer is why I'm a chaos baby. Cuz I love Lucifer. I'm gonna lose our drip soon. I'm gonna feel sad. Cause I do like the drip that Naoki's got. So, here we are again. I'm glad I intervened when I did. I wouldn't want you to fall prey to a demon. You heard what Hikawa said, right? This world is about to be swallowed by chaos. It's called the Conception. Yo, I played that game. Kind of weird. The rebirth of the world. An event which no human has ever witnessed. Has anyone here actually played the Conception games? Because <laughs> there's something. Everyone outside of this hospital will perish. I doubt anyone would approve of such a terrible thing. But even if we did keep this old world alive, it would eventually lose all its power. The world must first die. For it to be born again. I'll just stick to death. Wait, that's why you look small and childlike? <laughs> I'm not a child. I'm not a child, okay? <laughs> What's Conception? It is an RPG game series where you, like, travel through dungeons and stuff and you make babies with, like, it, it's kind of like Persona where you have, like, a day system where you talk to your classmates and then you like go to your dungeon and stuff and like the people that help you in the dungeon are like whatever girl you bring with you and your children you have children with the girl you make star children and you take them with you into the dungeon like your whole thing is like your character has an abundance of ether if that's what they're calling it nowadays and you gotta inject your ether into the girl's star womb to create a star child and bring it with you into the dungeons to like defeat the enemies <laughs> and i alone will carry the burden of its sin yeah conception's weird <laughs> it's persona but with a lot of sexual innuendo <laughs> as for regrets i have none What matters is that fate reached out and led you here. And it is your fate to live through the conception. Man, I played a lot of Persona-like games. I played that. I played... God, what was that name? What was the name of that one game? I played Mind Zero. I played Caligula Effect. Those are all Persona-like games. It may actually be more painful than death. I think it'd be fun to play Mind Zero sometime. <laughs> it's like a really terrible game, but it it has its charm. It looks like it saw Persona and wanted to make bank off of that, but while keeping elements of like the first Shin Megami Tensei game or like Persona 1 with it. It's an interesting game. But I believe in you. Come find me when it's done. No matter how the world changes, I'll be your pillar of strength. And not when I destroy your pillar to become a true demon. It is my duty as the maiden to take part in shaping the new world. Meaning I can show you a better way to live. What's the Caligula effect? It's another uh, game that is like, you are trapped inside of like this game that is like run by this one girl that uh, doesn't want to return you to the real world because she doesn't want you to go through pain. So like you're stuck in like a school and you have to fight your way against like these people. It's actually like got music done by Vocaloid producers. Like it's very musically based to where the people like the person that traps you in the game world is pretty much Miku <laughs> and she has like producers that make music for her and they don't want to return to the real world because like 
they went through like abuse in the real world and stuff and like all of the the people that are in that 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 help the Miku character are based off of actual like Vocaloid producers and the Vocaloid producers actually do music for the game. It's interesting. I mean, I can Oh yeah, I already saw that. I know it must be difficult for you to understand. But we're out of time. Listen. If you can find me on your own, I promise to tell you everything. The answers to all your questions, and what my intentions really are. Oh shoot. What's going on? Oh look at that little, little guy on the... The, the billboard. That looks like a cool little guy. Is that a crocodile? Oh. the music. Oh, I'm so sorry for flashing lights, by the way. Oh. I think it's over. You who would enter my world, reveal your heart to me. Eh? You have nothing stirring within you, not even a hint of reason. Oh, I have a reason. I want to fuck up For the world. Who will shape the world? This is kind of. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, I got, I got, I got a reason, okay? I got the Kagutsuchi or whatever it's called. Go forth and discover yourself. I'm so sorry about that, Barry. I completely forgot that that had flashing lights. What will be the legacy of your existence? I'm gonna fuck up the world. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be king of the demons. <gasps> Hello. Do not be afraid. My little master has taken an interest in you pitiful human though you are he wishes to grant you a gift well thank you thank you for that christmas gift that's really sweet of you it is vital that you receive it and i'm afraid you have no choice oh don't worry i'll accept whatever christmas gift he has for me also i think this scene might have flashing lights i'm not actually sure Please try not to struggle. And I'm not struggling at all. Don't worry. Insert that worm into my noggin. It will only hurt for an instant. So yeah, a uh, bug warning. If you don't like bugs, this has like a worm. Ugh. Okay, yeah, flashing lights. Yeah, I'm glad I 
sad to walk away. Oh, we got some new drip. Got glow-in-the-dark tattoos. And a thing sticking out of our neck. Tama is the essence of demonic power. With it, you have joined the ranks of demons. Oh, hell yeah. And I'm gonna go up in those ranks until I become king of the demons. My little master is always watching. So, please, try not to bore him. Oh, he will not be bored with what I'm about to do. I'm going to kill everyone. You obtained the Magatama Marogare. From the command menu, you can view and ingest Magatama. So you can find these little worm guys and eat them. And you get new powers. A demonic rebirth. Alright, let's see. So we got imparts physical skills, normal resistance. So we get lunch. Oh, I already ingested it. Okay. Let's see. We don't got anyone to summon. What items we got? We got Soma and Sacred Water. Oh, so those must have been the, the drinks that we got. Nice. I like that we got some Soma. That'll help me. Because the very start of the game is always the toughest when it comes to Shin Megami Tensei games in general. Okay. So I gotta find a save point. Shinjuku Medical Center. Alright. And then what is the button? Okay, that's the button to bring up the menu. And then you... Let me just... Okay, you can't- you can suspend, though. What does that mean? I guess that can give you, like, a one-time save, maybe? What are you staring at me for? Am I that peculiar? You're the demon here. Alright, so we got some demon- or not demons. We got some ghosties up in here. Gonna have a corpse party. Oh, that that's a safe room. Alright, so I think I am going to save here and then we will continue that well, we gotta see the cutscene with Who's there? Ijidi here. <gasps> oh, and we got a bot in chat. Well, I'm a, oh, thank you, Sandor. <laughs> Wait, aren't you that kid I met at the park? What in God's name happened to you? I got the drip, okay? I've gained new power. Huh. Yeah, looking like that? I believe it. Yeah, you like my glow-in-the-dark tattoos? That aside, you know what the hell's going on here? I must imagine it must be terrible for Hitoshura to sleep with that thing sticking out of his neck. That's gotta be painful to lay down. Last thing I remember, I was blinded by a bright light. After that, I was in this room. The LEDs? <laughs> From the look of it, we're in some sort of hospital. Seeing as you're here too, I take it this is Shinjuku Medical Center? Well, first things first, as much as I want to know what's going on out there, it's not exactly safe to walk around. Have you come across any of them yet? Oh, like, ba Baphomet? Yes, I have. I see. So I wasn't hallucinating or dreaming this up after all. Demons. This place is crawling with them. I remember that line. <laughs> Never thought I'd actually live to see one. But 
Damn. If my hunch is right, there's an actual explanation for all this. Though I'd rather not believe it. This is Shinjuku Medical Center. I can't just rule it out. The conception may have occurred for real. You know, I've seen a barrel like this before. I have too. In Digital Devil Saga. If I remember right, it belonged to a man named Yukawa. He's gotta be behind this somehow. It's a save Just point. Standing here talking won't do us any good. Yeah, Digital Devil Saga had like these little barrel guys that you could save at too, right? Or am I thinking of another SMT game? I think it was Digital Devil Saga. Listen, if you're strong enough to fight, could you gather some information while you're at it? I no, I'm not gonna help like you. A ghost, but I didn't have much luck. What's happened to the world? And is there anyone else out there? Well, there is, but not for long. We can only find the answers by finding other people. You got it. God. Just let me kill them, okay? I wish I could do it myself, but I doubt I'd last long against a demon. Yeah. Besides, you won't. I imagine studying this thing has its own merits. There's a process to these things. We're only level one or five, I guess. <laughs> well, listen, Hijiri is perfect grinding. He's a human, he can't fight back. He'll give us at least a little bit of EXP, I bet. So for now, I'll leave it to you. All right, let me talk to him. Don't bother worrying about me. I know I'd only slow you down if I tagged along. Yeah, you would. Hey, I don't plan on dying here, you know. <laughs> we better change your plans soon, Hijiri. I figure I can make myself useful by studying this thing. Now get going. All right. Oh, let's save. All right. So that's where we're at with uh, Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. So maybe on days where I play Devil Survivor, uh, I might like for an hour do Devil Survivor and then another hour I'll do SMT Nocturne. Well look, I just really wanted to play this because I really wanted to play SMT Nocturne and I got it as a gift for Christmas from Barn. So. Whenever y'all see Barn, be sure to thank him for giving me this game for Christmas. And I hope y'all have a good night. Yeah, go to sleep, Sun Dwarf. I'm sure the ambient is kicking you really hard right now. But yeah, uh, we do have art time for anyone that is not under the effects of ambient, because if you are, go to bed. But if not, we still have art, so I'll be showing some art. So let's switch on over to our... Ending sunscreen. Let me put on some music. So yeah, if you're new to my streams, at the end of every stream, we do art time. And if you have any art that you would like to share at the end of our streams, you can at me on Twitter, at Starry Bunny Boy, that is B-U-N-N-I-E, or you can join in the Discord and here is the link to the Discord. Oh, I just realized it's showing the art from last time. I forgot to get rid of all these arts. Oh, well, observe the great arts from last time. <laughs> yeah, art time. Art time, art time. So let me just, I got to save a piece of art that I got added on Twitter because I forgot to do that. Let me see. Where is it at? Yeah, just give me a moment to save all the art, and then we'll look at art. We got a bunch of good stuff for tonight, so look forward to that. We got a few different artists to show off and all that. And let me check the Discord to see if uh, any other pieces of art got added while I was away. Oh yes, there was one that was added, so let me save that. Oh, and I gotta use the bathroom, actually. <laughs> and I don't know if I'd be able to hold it until the end, so I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. Uh, enjoy the Omori OST. <laughs>
through the wait. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just didn't think I'd be able to wait until the end of uh, our time. I had to use the bathroom. I had to use the bathroom real fast. But I'm back. And I washed my hands, so we're all good on that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let me see this. What? This piece of art didn't load correctly while I was gone. Okay, there we go. Okay, that should be all of the art. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I had to go use the bathroom. But, uh, here is our first piece of art for the night. Uh, this was done by Barrett Tainer. Uh, and this is some sketches that they're doing. Fit to screen and, ooh. I like all, like, I like how it's kind of like an action piece looking, or like a, like a prayer surrounded by these, like, lights. This looks like it'll be a really cool art piece when it's, like, done. It looks really nice. Rough drafts for the final art piece. For the night VTuber one year and the person chat I got the idea from. So it looks cool, it looks cool. It's a nice idea. I really like art pieces with like a lot of light or whatever. A lot of like little visual elements going on. There's stuff with it. Can't wait until the sketch is done, me. And then we got another piece of art by Barrett Tainer. And this is also like a uh, sketches for that VTuber that I was talking about. Ooh, and this is like a battlefield image. Like all rough and hardy on the battlefield. Like maybe, maybe the person that's sitting down is dying or something. Ooh, I like all the, the weapons and the flags and stuff. It's kind of like a <laughs> limited blade works. Looks really cool. This will look really nice when you're done, especially if you have like all the, the environmental elements like really detailed and stuff. This will be great. I like it. And then some more art by Barrett Tainer. Let's look at this. Get to screen and ooh. Oh, is this the same person? from this that looks like like they're hurt? Or is this uh, another person? Yeah, cause that person's holding a staff, so this must be the same scene. Like, they're really, really dying. Like this was dying and that this was being dead. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, but I like it. I like the tree, like there's like a bunch of tree details here. And the poses and everything look really nice. I can see that the person with the staff is crying. And it looks really cool. I'm loving all the details put into the sketch. And this will look super cool. When like, it's like past the sketch phase. I get K how Barrett can make so much art. I get exhausted after just like two sketches. I know that feeling blinded. I do like one piece of art. And then I'm like, well, that's it for the rest of the month. <laughs> Basic guess, I found a thing online where the idea someone typed was a cleric slamming every healing spell into the ground, causing many trees and flowers to grow. Ooh, I like that idea. So they're trying really hard to save the person, but they're like dead and they just like result in a bunch of plants and stuff to grow. Ooh, oh, did the song just end? That was a really abrupt ending to the song. Hold on. Okay, yeah, I guess that was the end of that song. <laughs> that was such an abrupt cutoff, okay. But anyway, this looks really nice, I love it. <laughs> Years later, there's a huge forest of roses and vines guarding a corpse refusing to rot. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> And then here's another piece of art from Barrett Tainer. And this is another sketch. I believe they're all part of like the same kind of like a idea here. Oh, whoops. 
Was it for poison? There we go. I see like another sketch here too with like a, a guy in a trench coat and a hat. Yeah, look at that. There, There is the sketch of like the roses and all that covering the battlefield with the corpse. Ooh. And like the roses are blooming on the corpse and stuff and I see like a guy in the distance. It's like a creature. Ooh. Those are all just sketches. This is final sketch since I couldn't do them all. Ooh. Yeah, I really like this sketch. I love all the details of like the roses and stuff. And there's like some little bits of the battlefield with the swords and flags and stuff. Yeah, this one's a keeper. This one's great. I love it. And then here's another piece of art from Barrett Tainer. And this is of a superhero that he drew for Blinded, a drawing rough draft. Ooh -hoo -hoo. So this is a Jason Todd Red Hood uh, from DC. And I really like the hair. I love the hair details and the eyes too. Coloring on the skin looks really cool too. Just the whole coloring here looks really great. I wanna see this all colored, because I love it. I love like the little bits of like lines that you did for like uh, battle scars. Oh, it's a fan art. Uh, a streamer got arm flipped by Mr. X in the Resident Evil 2 stream, but mixed with the dad, dad, father, daddy, I mean daddy, I mean father meme. Oh my god. <laughs> god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> People getting horny for Mr. X, gosh. I mean, can't blame him. Can't blame him. I mean, I don't simp for Master X. I simp for. <laughs> I simp for Leon Kennedy. <laughs> but yeah, this looks so good. I want to like see the whole drawing, like it all colored, because I'm really enjoying the coloring that you did for this. His hair is hard because the slits in his hair don't match up. The bangs are a center slit and the rest is a side slit. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah, I really like this. It's looking, it's looking slick, it's looking sharp. It's looking cool. And then this is an art piece that was added to me on Twitter uh, by Glitch. So I am going to retweet this on my Twitter if you would like to like and retweet their art. Yeah, this is by Glitch. And here's their piece of art. This looks really cool. I love the coloring on this, like the 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 kind of like static effect in the backgrounds, the the coloring on the skin and the blood. The blood coming out of their eyes. It looks so cool. Yeah, I love this one. This looks so cool. And then they said, here's a new drawing. I tried and failed, but what, what do you mean you failed? I see this as a win. I love the hair, I love the coloring. I love the little static effect going on in the background. I love the eyes. The eyes are probably my favorite part. I love the blood. It's so hard to like draw convincing blood drops. And I think you did it perfectly, Glitch. Yeah, this is a really good artwork. And I really like the design of the character, too. It looks nice. Alright, and then we got- Oh, we got some art by Blinded! So let's see. Oh, we went from Amori into Alice Mir. Ooh, I love this one. I love all the, the detailing on the skin for this one, especially. Like, the kind of, like, freckle look going, and the hair is so well detailed. Man. This is great. I love the hands too, like, oh my god, blinded. How are you so good at art? Yeah, I really love just like the freckles in this and the hair. It's so nicely done. Oh no, my art, I got it scattered. No, you will stay here and you will be praised for your art, okay? Okay, blinded. You deserve to be praised for your art. This one looks good, yeah. It looks great, Blinded. Be proud in your art. Be proud. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's playing El Paradiso. <laughs> From Alice Mayer. And then we got another piece of art. 
from Blinded. Ooh, this one is really cool. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a character from, uh, that one game I know that Rosa plays. Uh, was it Sky or something? Like, you have, like, a little... Is, is this the one with the, uh... The, the scarf that gets longer? As you go around? <laughs> okay, thank you guys. Yes. I love the pose for this. Like, of him floating. The little, the little cape. Children of the Sky, that's the game. I love the little horns and stuff. Like, the style is good. I haven't played this guy game. But, like, looking from the character designs, it kind of reminds me of, a uh, Eco. Have any of you ever played Eco? It's a nice game. It's by the, the same people that did, uh, Shadow of the Colossus. If any of you ever played that game. And I love, I love all the detailing on the clothes for this. And, like, the, the little cape. It looks kind of like a, kind of like a magic carpet. Kind of. It looks so cool. And I love the little hair sticking out of the skull. Ooh, that's so cool. Yeah, the clothes and details are really nice. And I love the pose too, the, the floating pose. Really good stuff, Blinded. And then we got some art by Roselette John. And this is some fan art that they did. <laughs> I love the, the, what is it called? The pouty face, the, the puffy cheek face. <laughs> Looks so cute. <laughs> I love the details on the hair too. It looks adorable. Oh, this is looking good. Are you gonna like color this and stuff? Cause I'd love to see the the full version of this. It's looking nice. <laughs> I love their facial expressions. <laughs> Yay, Rosa art! Yeah, let's go, Rosa! Did I tell you guys that I got uh stickers in the mail from Rosa? They like cut some stickers of like fan art that they did for me and other like pieces of art that they did and they sent it to me. So not only do I have stickers of myself, I now have also like charms too. And like I have two stickers on my laptop actually. So whenever I stream, I look down and I see Rose's art. I got the one of me on the balloon being carried up into the sky and then I got a barn sticker of him saying Baka on my computer. So I see the both of them whenever I stream. It's really cute. <laughs> yeah, good job, Rosa! And then we got some more art from, uh, let me, let me see their name. I'm not too familiar with their name yet. Mia. Yeah, this is by Mia on the Discord. And this is their second piece of art. I remember, uh, we, we saw one of their arts last time and I really like their art style. So let's show this. Yeah, doesn't this look great? I love their art style. Like their facial expression and everything. The clothes look really nice too. Like the, the, what is it? The, it's not cross hatching no. It's, uh, what is it called? The, the, the stuff that people wear that looks like cross hatches. I forgot what they're called. But I like it. I love the hair and the facial expression especially. They look so sad. It looks like depressed. It kind of gives me like a Nijiko vibes. It looks really good. Really great stuff, Mia! And it's nice to see some more of your art here. This looks awesome. Chicken wire. Is that what it's called? I don't think that's called chicken wire, right? Like the, the stuff that like uh, people at Hot Topic wear. St not stocking. Fishnets, that's it. Fishnets, that's it. Yeah, the fishnets. The fishnets. It's like, uh, they're kind of wearing, like, a... I'm not sure if it's shorts or, or not of, like, fishnets under their skirt. Interesting. Looks really nice. I remember I used to love fishnets growing up. I used to like wearing fishnets. Like, I had fishnet gloves that I really liked. But yeah, I like the design of this. And they look so sad. I want to make them happy. But yeah, thank you for sharing this art with us, Mia. It's nice seeing some more of your art, and I hope to see more of your art in the future. And that should be it for art for the night. So yeah, uh, we still have some more art that we will be showing tomorrow. And I will be streaming at 7 a.m. So that will be in seven hours. 
Uh, might be a short stream because I have family coming over at 12 uh, tomorrow. But yeah, uh, let's have a fun Christmas, everyone. And I hope you guys got all the presents that you wanted and have a very fun time with your family. If you're seeing your family or like if you don't like your family, like maybe holidays gives you anxiety. I hope that the holidays quickly pass by so you don't have to deal with them anymore. Wh whatever the situation is, I just hope that you guys have a good day. So yeah, uh, I'll be seeing you guys later. Have a good night. Be sure to eat, drink, and take your medication and check my gamers. Bye-bye.